Well, it being in this time of year when decent men pull out their hair in idleness and dark despair, long winter nights to pass. But to do the pub religiously or burn your brains on Sky TV. Now neither much appealed to me, so I took an evening class. Encouraged by this new adventure towards organic horticulture, I pondered on my future, so earthy and so pure. And I bought a folder, leather bound, and I dug and I wrecked a patch of ground, and then began to search around for stocks of horse manure. All the roads and lands when I was young were strewn with horse and donkey dung, on path and step and ladder rung, and on every heel and toe. So with confidence secure and set, I searched for weeks on end, and yet, for all my bloody searching, I had no horse manure to show. Through cops and spa, well not a trace, not Evikins, not any place, and in Carnamil the more disgrace, they told me all was sold. So I searched the stables of Tavana, and the slatted sheds of Sweet Mahana, signs of marijuana, but no equine fecal gold. So with my organic dreams in doubt, I hit the pub for pints of stout and music that might lift me out of my unearthly jam until Jerry Morris took a slug and turned and says you stupid lug if horse manure it is your bug I've heaps of it at home from back as far as 99 as sweet as any vintage wine upon if your carrots were to dine they'd dance and sing with joy and your spuds in numbers would increase your parsnips joy would never cease your onions would become obese now that's the job says i now the moral in this tale i tell now listen up and learn it well and save it in your memory and bear it in your mind and though I'll conclude, but here's the rub, not meaning any friends to snub. But the more time spent within the pub, the more harsh it you will find. There you go.